Begin your circular breath, breathing in through the nose and exhaling out through the mouth. Bringing all of your awareness to the body, to the feeling state, the thinking state, and the physical state that the three bodies harmonize, sinking one into the next to create the center point, this stillness, this heart-centered feeling, thinking, full physical awareness, all levels and layers of you now acutely focused inward into the center point of your heart, breathing in and exhaling deep. sinking into that connected heartbeat that resides within the center most point of your chest, breathing in and exhaling out, allowing all levels and layers of your awareness to come into this center point, the origin point of you that creates this rhythmic beat of the heart, keeping you in sync with all levels of awareness, all consciousness moving through you in this space and in this time. Breathing deeply in through the nose. Exhaling out through the mouth. strength of the connection between you and the heart. Now calling on the light filled channel that your heart is in full clear connection to. Bringing your awareness down to the root chakra at the groin extending out through the bottoms of the feet and connecting you into this earth plane, feeling deeply into that earth connection and the yinward upward flow of white gold and light filled energy that begins spiraling up towards your core channel, your centermost pillar of light. And now bringing your focused awareness to the crown chakra above the head, connecting you to infinite space and time, everything divine and in conscious connection to you, focusing on this gold and white light energy that connects to your core pillar, your core channel of light and allowing this downward yang spiraling energy to move in its counterclockwise flow down towards your body. Now focusing on your beating heart, the center point of awareness within you, allowing the yinward and yangward flowing energies to meet here, connecting creating an intense clockwise and counterclockwise spin of vortex energy around your body. Breathing in through your nose, exhaling, expanding outward, feeling this core channel of light beneath you, above you, come into center point within the beating heart of your chest. And as this core channel of light begins to create itself above and below, connecting into the stillness in honor of our divine essence, our divine soul self, as everything collides into that centermost point of you within the beat of the heart, 
we acknowledge this core channel of light and begin to move our consciousness into this center point in the heart. The heart becomes a vessel of light, an elevator of light, if you will, to hold our consciousness. And as we bring ourselves into this core channel of light within this elevator, this moving vessel within this heart space, we allow the light energy to create itself in light-filled form around our consciousness, around this green flowing energy of the heart chakra. And as we begin to create and connect the green high frequency energy of the heart chakra with our light filled elevator, we use this flow to move us up towards the throat chakra. And as this ascending elevator of light begins to travel higher in frequency, greet the brilliant blues of the throat chakra and as we allow this colored light frequency to greet us, filling us, raising our frequency, our vibration even higher, we allow this blue light filled energy to raise our frequency even higher as we ascend up this core channel, this core pillar of light towards the third eye chakra. Now as we're greeted by the deep violet frequency, vibrational energy, we once again allow ourselves to assimilate, acclimate, activate as we once again use this boost of high frequency energy to propel us even higher and as we ascend even greater we now become one with the infinite space and time that connects to our soul level consciousness and as we begin to ascend even higher, we use the high frequency energy of this golden white light filled channel, this vessel that we're now carried within, filled with light as we move towards and through the concentric rings of the crown chakra, moving higher and higher and higher as we ascend, not knowing yet when this elevator will stop not knowing yet what this world will look like as the doors open. And as we begin to feel our body becoming the divine consciousness that is the essence of who we are, we take a look at the feet in connection to the floor of our elevator and begin to see this form this body, take shape beneath us, this consciousness that will traverse this new world, and the elevator begins to slow down, our body becomes more materialized within this elevator, taking the shape of our most divine self thing that bridges between the high, the low, the thing that knows everything about us. And as the elevator comes to its stop, we're asked now to open the doors. And before we push the button, we establish our intention to today walk down the western path and explore what lies within this path in connection to us. And so when ready, allowing yourself to open the doors by pushing the button. 
greeted once again by the familiar setting of your garden, your environmental space here. As the doors of the elevator open, we step our foot upon the southern path, walking towards the center fountain. Finding the cadence of your walk, left foot in front of right foot, left foot in front of right foot. Everything begins to fall into place, feeling the resonance and the connection to this special place that is 100% connected to you and the divinity of you. As you make your way now to the fountain in the middle, moving towards the western path, taking a look at the fountain, recognizing, becoming aware of anything that might have changed or shifted. And now with your intention to move down this western path, we begin to fall into a cadence with the walk and the footsteps, focusing primarily on the feet as you begin this first descent down the western path, following your feet, watching the left foot step in front of the right foot, moving one foot down the path at a time until everything surrounding you becomes comfortable and controlled. Your eye line now becomes focused on what lies in front of you upon this path. The shifting mirage-like veil of energy that clouds whatever lies beyond. And as you get closer to this veil of shifting energy, you begin to become hyper aware of everything around you. Feeling not only into the air that moves through, breezing through the leaves of the forest that lie just upon the northern path to your right, or possibly the sun that's refracting, glaring off of the golden elevator that brought you here down the southern path to your left, becoming hyper aware of everything that surrounds you. Looking up now towards the sun and feeling the warmth stream down, the warmth of the sun kiss your face just so gently. And this warmth now moves and radiates down through your entire body. So much so that you are hyper aware of the entire divine self standing here on this western path. And as you come right up to this veil of energy, it's as if there is a whole new world that is invisibly set right behind the shifting mirage gas-like energy that's swirling up as if it's a wall that's taunting you, questioning you if you're ready to move through. And as you begin to extend one of your hands to test what this veil-like energy holds, you raise your hand up and just barely stick the fingers into this different energy and completely feel a shift in the body as if the entire body becomes sensitive and resonant to a totally different state totally different frequency. Is it cool? Is it hot? How does your body interpret this feeling state? And 
understanding that this is just another shift, another way to transport you into this next level of awareness. You begin to extend both hands now and enter through this veil as if you're walking through another dimensional reality. And as your arms move through the first level of this different energetic frequency, your face, your stomach, and your chest hit next. And only about a foot deep, you begin to emerge out the other side. And as you do, you find you're in an underground cavern. Very unique. Very cool. The halls illuminated by torchlight. Everything carved out like old catacombs. All the walls are compacted dirt, glowing with the torchlight, the firelight burning on the walls as you Continue your walk now, underground, cool yet feeling the flames, warmth, moving off of the walls every few feet or so. You begin to realize that this underground cavern is so expansive and has hundreds of different rooms. Deciding where you want to go what path you want to take, looking around and seeing many almost grid-like pathways, each moving through another room. You can grab the torch or simply allow each torchlight to guide your way, choosing to move forward or back, exploring this cavern as you see fit fixing your gaze upon your right foot and your left foot and watching as the feet know where to go, bringing up whatever it is that's going on in our human life right now. We know that this underground catacomb will begin to reveal some of the answers so as we become very open to allowing everything that is transitioning from the divine self through the high self into the human self, we hold space for this catacomb area to bring to light whatever messages we need by simply allowing our feet to move down one of these paths. We will find the area, the room, with the buried crystals that will help to reveal the next phase of our journey, the next component of this message for us. And understanding this, this underground catacomb, each room, each chamber holds a different experience with a different crystal. Some of the rooms have the crystals lying all around them. The same crystal over and over, exposed, awaiting our connection. As you walk down and see other catacombs, you see maybe rakes or brooms that require you to expose the crystals that are buried just an inch or so below the surface. As you walk and see other chambers, you can see single crystals highlighted like museum pieces, lights glaring on the singular crystal in the middle of the room. Each room a different setup to not only give you 
different feelings, different understandings of what you're engaging with. But also to show you the different levels of frequencies that are shifting and changing in your physical body. And so today it is your job to walk around these catacombs exploring the rooms, only picking a singular room when you are ready to make a connection to this crystal here in this divine reality that will then translate into your human environment. And so when you feel called to pick a singular chamber today, know that this is not only wisdom coming from the highest essence of you, but is also the guidance, the trajectory, and the messages that will greet you and await you as you re-engage in your human life. And so once you select that catacomb room, and find and discover the crystal lying within it. Take time to be with the crystal, seeing if there are any messages that come through for you in that room, or simply remember exactly what that crystal looked like, the color, the shape, the size, where it was, a name of the crystal might pop into your head or you might have to do some research once you come out of meditation. And so take this time to move around and explore. I will give you three minutes and then guide you back out of this chamber through the elevator and back into your body where we will explore the crystal you've chosen together.
understanding that it's time to leave the cavern with the wisdom of the interaction of the crystal that came through for you today. If you're not already within the catacomb, walking back towards the center point of the hallway where the fire torch resides on the walls, move back to this space now and outreach the hands towards the area that is shifting, shimmering, dense with a different energetic frequency. And as you rise the left hand and the right hand, the fingertips begin to feel into this shift in the dimensional frequency as your body changes and moves through the plane separating this world from your garden, your sanctuary. And as your fingertips begin to emerge through the other side, feeling into the warmth of the sun, hearing the rustling of the leaves and the birds calling from the northern path, you move back towards the fountain from this catacomb path from the west and find yourself moving back towards the southern path heading towards your elevator. We're going to thank ourselves for taking this time, for raising our frequency this much to explore this new environment, this new playground for our divine self to meet and entangle and play with our soul and our human self, bringing total awareness to all three aspects of self, the low, the high, and the divine. And we save the journey for another day, thanking ourselves once again for getting us to this point. And we move towards the elevator, walking down the southern path, stepping one foot in front of the next, watching the left foot move in front of the right foot and right foot in front of left. One by one, the feet walk us down the path until we reach the elevator. With doors closed, we push the button on the outside of the elevator, signaling for the doors to open for our descent back down into conscious level of awareness of the human body and as we step inside of the elevator we watch the scene before us disappear as the doors close we push the heart chakra button the green button and feel the quick descent that happens very fast as we move down now back into the heart chakra moving through the concentric rings that surround our path out through the crown and we enter back into the core channel of the body through that last white light ring moving down and through the purple mist that begins to fill the inner chamber of the elevator and then the blue mist and then settling into the green mist and as we begin to feel into our physical heartbeat, our consciousness within the elevator begins to expand completely with each beat of the heart. The elevator disappears and our physical body becomes more evident. Each beat brings us more back into this human reality, into the human body. The thumping, the beating, the awareness of the feet, the toes curling beneath our legs, the fingers stretching, opening and contracting. And when you're ready, taking that final breath of awareness, opening the eyes. And until we decide to meet again, take this time, this moment to open your journal and note down 
the crystals that you discovered, any wisdom you gained, what's going on in your life at this moment in time, what intentions you had moving into this meditation, what questions you had, what questions were answered, and anything else that feels appropriate at this time with light and love.